Hello, and welcome back to Vinyl Fury. Um, I have a couple records that I've purchased over the last few weeks, um, and a couple that came as a VCLT. Uh, really, really awesome package. Um, Stephanie, uh, Twee Girl, as she's known here in the vinyl community, um, we've formed a pretty awesome friendship through our videos and, and exchanging emails and stuff. We've exchanged some records. And uh, she sent me another package. And it was just really thoughtful and really cool. Um, two records that I should have had by now. And I know this. And I've heard about these bands for so long. And I know that I should have, you know, listened to them to understand their significance uh, in in music. I just hadn't done it. So Stephanie did it for me. Uh, first one is uh, Husker Du, Zen Arcade, and Minutemen, Double Knuckles on the Dime. Two classic, you know, hardcore punk indie records that uh, have been, you know, so influential to bands that I listened to and loved and uh, they drew their influence from bands like these and these albums so I finally get it because I, you know, I absolutely loved this music and uh, these are nice uh, heavy gatefold reissues uh, sounded great I just I really enjoyed the music and Stephanie knew that I would. Uh, and she wrote me a very nice letter explaining uh, the significance of these albums to her. And uh, it was just a, a, such a nice thing to do. I mean, she's, she's been really good to me. And uh, I know she's not about the, uh, you know, the personal thanks and all that. She doesn't need that, but I wanted to do it anyway. And uh, not only that... She knew that my little sister, it's not so little, I guess, anymore. She's going to be 20 years old soon. Um, I recently got her into collecting records. So she sent another package just for her. Um, some albums that she thought that she would like. And she did. And just that gesture was really, really nice. And uh, really meant a lot to me and my sister. So thank you, Stephanie. You, you're, you're awesome. And I want everybody to know that. Uh, so yeah, these albums definitely belong in my collection and should have been there long ago. But uh, I think I can, I can just appreciate them more at this point. So better late than never. Uh, thank you so much, Stephanie. Really appreciate it. And uh, you know, on that same page. These uh, albums are very significant as well. And uh, I'm just now getting to hear them. <coughs> Death. For the whole world to see. Uh, I watched the documentary that I've been hearing about for a while. A band called Death. And I had only heard just a, a brief summary of what this was. And I was kind of intrigued. I figured out, you know, I'll watch it at some point. For some reason, I just kept thinking about it. So I finally watched it. Absolutely loved it. Loved the music. Went out the next day and found the record. I went to like three different stores around town looking for it. Because I, I wanted to have it that day. I wanted to hear it. Uh, not very expensive. A nice pressing. I think it's done in RTI. It looks like it. And uh, I think this is, it originally came out in 2009, I believe this is a reissue of it. If you haven't heard of, of this band or, or this documentary, uh, three Blood Brothers from Detroit, 1975, they, they recorded these songs. Amazing, what they, I guess what they call proto-punk. You know, punk rock wasn't really a thing quite yet, but they were a part of the wave of bands 
that came before punk. You know, it was really, you know, garage rock. Uh, what morphed into punk rock eventually. Uh, they recorded these songs. I think Clive Davis paid for the recording. And the songs are amazing. And they wouldn't change their name. And so they couldn't have that record deal. So these recordings were shelved. They were able to keep the masters. But uh, it never went anywhere. And went largely unheard for over 30 years. And I, I don't want to give away the, the whole story. But the music is discovered. And because of our internet age gets shared and then it just keeps going and it mushrooms into this band is now a, a very popular band and people finally heard this music and realized how fantastic it is uh, I really enjoyed this record there's only seven songs but uh, just the sound it's so just honest and raw it's just really great I highly suggest watching the documentary it's it's great film on its own but the story of, of what how these brothers made this music at the time and then how it became finally discovered all these years later and has become kind of a phenomenon is just really really cool so uh, definitely get the album it's a, it's a great pressing totally worth getting on vinyl and uh, definitely check out the film A Band Called Death. I mean, a lot of you probably already know all this, but when you, for anyone who doesn't, definitely check this out. And just yesterday, I'd gone around to a couple stores just to see what was left for Record Store Day and stuff. Didn't really buy anything from the day, but I finally got this that I'd been eyeing for a while. Uh, Minor Threats, only studio album, Out of Step. The uh, Discord remaster from probably five years ago. Uh, I didn't own any um, Minor Threat music until a few years ago when I finally got the uh, collection of their singles. And I didn't even really know about this until you know, a year or two ago. And I'd seen it in the record store several times, looked at it every time, and thought, no, I'll just get it later, I'll get it later. So I finally just got it. It was only like $12. Discord's prices are just great. I don't understand why they can put out all these releases at such reasonable prices so many other labels just won't but um, yeah it's got uh, 8 tracks, it's uh, 45 RPM uh, nicely done remaster job uh, great album, I'm glad I finally can say this is in my collection it's kind of it's kind of funny, I had a Minor Threat sticker on my guitar when I was like 15 only because Daniel Johns of Silverchair had the same sticker on his guitar and I just wanted to be Daniel Johns uh, you know I'd only heard the one song Minor Threat that Silverchair had covered and that's all I really knew of them but I still had a Minor Threat sticker on my guitar like they're one of my favorite bands or something uh, but I'm glad I, I finally get it so yeah, I really fumbled through that one, but uh, I've been meaning to show these records for a little while. Thank you again, Stephanie, so much. Uh, thank you for watching, and until next time, enjoy your music.